Gitwamba area of Ruai in Nairobi County. We come face to face with Kevin Anira Chapka, a 30-year-old man working with the Kenya Power Company as operations and maintenance staff. He has worked here for almost four years and is currently based at Ruai Power Station. His colleague Charity Imali is explaining to me their plans for the day. Chapka, as he is popularly known by his colleagues here, like any other employee, is getting ready for the day. It is just about impossible to tell that he is different from his colleagues. When he was nine years old, he lost his sense of hearing. Up to now, what caused it is unknown. Okay, panda jo, ufungue binding. Then ushuke. Kamba. Slowly and steadily, Kevin climbs this electricity pole after taking instructions from his supervisor Paul Ongus on what to do. Then I vote I it is evident that he understands perfectly what is required of him up there and is well aware of the risks involved. Yes. We engage team leader Paul Ongus on how they manage to understand Kevin, yet they have never learned sign language. He came, I, I remember even engaging the supervisor, I was wondering how will I relate with him? How will we, because we work in life, we do live, live wiring. But then, Ikawa Sasa ni team leader, the supervisor Kasema, okay, and I leo. Despite his hearing challenge, Kevin Kinley tightens the power line alone before joining his colleague in repairing a transformer a few meters away. Kevin's sweat is an indication of the physical nature of his work passion and resilience. Caroline Agufa, the team supervisor, tells us they have had to improvise several communication styles with Kevin. This rope, one of them. Finger tight. When people pray at a, he'll just bow down when we finish an Amaliza. But now when we are having our meetings kwa O and M department, eh, who are akonam to Karibiake, the team leader, Paul Longus. So anything in the DAE is saying, eh, Ongus will always tell him closer, or whoever is closer, anamuambia. Na kama kuna kitu hajaelewa, tunamuandikia chini in summary. It will be to improvise, because basically this is what ukupanda ajua kikingi. Always ukipanda lazima uwe na kamba. Ineza kwa kuna kitu chini, utafungiwa uchukue. Sini kitu nilipanga, nikaona sasa navuta hiyo, tunahanza kuongea. Then nikasema basi. But it's, it's working well. We engage Kevin using our sign language interpreter Stanley Kinyanjui during a break. He is a happy soul. Kevin says growing up was not easy as he went to normal schools. Mimi peke yangu ndo nilikuwa mwanafunzi ambaye hawezi kusikia. Saa ilibigi wale wenzangu darasani waweze kuniandikia kile imesomeshwa nami naweza kusoma baadaye Kevin has acquired a piece of land in Rwai through his hard work and starting a family is almost every young man's dream We ask him his experience in the dating and relationship scene Hiyo ni bafura sala Hiyo swali si ati ni rahisi pia Na lakini nimejaribu Na pia relationship tunajonga kuna kwa na challenges. Lakini pia ikuwangi raisi kupata mtu na nikujaribu tu yote nikujaribu. Lakini mini na muamini mungu, mungu ndo anasaidianga sisi wote. Kevin says he has been to different hospitals including Kenyatta National Hospital trying to regain his hearing ability but it has never been successful. He is optimistic that one day he will hear again after he was told at the Kenyatta National Hospital that one ear has a chance of being corrected. But in India, the challenge is finances. Pande ya, 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 ya kulia yezi isikia, but ya kushoto ineza jaribu yuka yeze kusikia tena. Mumeva mask, haezi kukuelewa anything. Pa kutoe mask ndio, umkaribia, then you shout, but ya ya kiongea. Sometimes tunafata mdomo vile anasema. For Kevin, his inability to hear is not a disability. He has done manual jobs at the construction sites. 
He has worked in a hotel in Kisumu and during his free time, he does community work and volunteers at his deliverance church, Mwiki. Emily Chebet, Citizen TV, in Nairobi.